early next week, after all of the Christmas festivities, <laughs> you're likely going to be left with memories of eating way too much. Yes. And a mountain of wrapping paper and cardboard boxes. Also that. And if you plan on shoving those boxes into your recycling bin without doing any work, the city of Madison says you are doing it wrong. wrong. News 3, <laughs> Brittany Ferris is live on the west side of Madison to explain this morning. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning, Danica and Adam. The Postal Service expects to deliver nearly 850 million packages between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. So it's a good thing that many of us do want to recycle all of that leftover holiday packaging. But with more presents being delivered, many homes have more boxes that can then can fit into their recycling carts. The Streets Department says excess cardboard can pose a challenge for operators doing their jobs. All boxes should be broken down and the ones that can't fit into bins should be cut or folded into three foot by three foot squares, then bundled together so they're easy to lift and hoist into the truck's bin that's about 10 feet up. We don't mind doing our work and doing our job and picking up the extra stuff. It's just we don't want to have to clean up too because we can avoid that. Street machine operator John Forst says he makes anywhere from 500 to 700 stops per day. And if he needs to get out of the truck and clean up boxes, it adds a lot of extra time. Now, broken down boxes that aren't in bins, again, need to be bundled. And that means being tied or taped together again. So it's easier for those operators to lift all of those boxes 10 feet high. Danica. And, and Brittany, we were hearing uh, from Hattie the chance for some snow, some significant snow. Yeah. Uh, next weekend, the streets department also wants to remind people to keep the bins off of the streets. That's right, and that's so that the trucks and the snow plows can get through the streets. They actually want your bins up here on the curb and not on the roads. Also, a good reminder, make sure that your carts are out by 7 a.m. Adam and Danica. Always good reminders, especially this time of year. Brittany Paris reporting live on the west side. Thanks, Brittany.